Bushi, Bushi. In a united effort to bolster sports infrastructure and nurture talent across Uganda, members of the 11th Parliament have advocated for the government's commitment to developing regional and district sports and games facilities. This initiative was prominently highlighted yesterday during a visit to Ruchiga district where the Uganda Parliament football and netball teams participated in a friendly match. The event held at Kamwezi Playground in Kamwezi Sub-County saw the Parliament football team face off against the Nyakagawagaba Football Club who are the champions of the Dr. Slivia Tumuhiri Arinitwe football tournament. The tightly contested match concluded in a one-on-one -on -one draw and attracted thousands of enthusiastic spectators. In addition, the parliamentary netball team played a close game against the Ruchiga District Select netball team, narrowly losing 12-13. Honorable members emphasized the critical need for improved sports facilities to identify and develop local talent. Investing in sports infrastructure at the regional and district levels is essential for the discovery and nurturing of talent. This will not only promote physical fitness but also unite communities and offer opportunities for youth empowerment, said Honorable Roland Yomjenyi Bish, the Ruchiga County MP. He added that sports in general have not been given due attention, pointing out that the government's policy has not prioritized sports as a source of income and foreign exchange for the country. It all comes to the budget because sports in general are not given due attention and yet we can earn a lot of foreign exchange from sports. But uh, the government policy has not been to support sports at that level. We have seen athlete, uh, athletes earning gold medals, winning gold medals at international level, but we have not seen the government come out to put in money to ensure that we improve, we develop our sports, and yet there is a lot of talent in this country. This 11th parliament is the people's parliament. So we had to bring parliament here so that the people can feel us. Mujiri municipality member of parliament, Honorable Asuman Basalira, highlighted that football talent cannot flourish if facilities remain in poor condition and if talented sportsmen and women are not adequately supported. He noted that while parliament has committed funds to develop the Akibua Stadium in Lila district and Hoima City Stadium, every region requires a major stadium to elevate sports from the local to the national level. Basalira emphasized that countries with advanced sports sectors have standardized facilities and it is challenging to identify and nurture young talent if they risk injuries due to substandard pitches. It's really very interesting to look at the local talent and see how the young people are interested in sports. There is a lot of talent here. You see many young people talented with a lot of enthusiasm. But it is also very clear that they are not facilitated, they are not supported. The facilities are here very poor. The, the, the talent cannot develop with these kinds of pitches. You, you can't. So I think when we come here and experience firsthand the condition of the facilities, as legislators and as people involved in appropriation, perhaps we begin to plan uh, broadly for the country. There is no way we are going to develop sports unless we invest in infrastructure. Mbale Industry or City Division Member of Parliament, Honorable Karim Masaba, echoed the call for the government's investment in local sports to nurture and develop talent. He mentioned that observations and reports from Ruchiga will inform their discussions in Parliament. Uh, we have very many talented people out there, but uh, we failed as a country to identify this talent. And We've still failed to uh, develop the facilities that we do have, but uh, recently government has taken up an initiative. We've seen Nambole and as parliament we made sure that in this current budget that passed, we allocate money for the construction of at least two new stadia, which is the uh, Kibua Stadium and the one in, uh, the one in Hoima, Hoima City Stadium. So I think this is a good initiative, but away from those, I think we need uh, as a country or as parliament to move out more and see how much more we can invest in our local society. The Deputy Managing Director of the National Water and Sewerage Corporation, Dr. Srivia Tumuhiri Arinitwe, encouraged residents to embrace sports for health benefits and income generation. <laughs> Tungesi, na barukshubura, emijosi, emipira, 
watunge sente ihangane rikendo misho ba leta tukashimishoro you know government ka taxinga tukatunge sente ka government okwenuko kuri speaking as the chief guest at the event the minister of state for defense and veteran affairs honorable sara nyirabashitsi mateke stated that sports foster unity and friendship in society and urged players to aim for the national team she also asked leaders to extend the unity scene in sports to government programs for the benefit of all Ugandans. So ni ni bashango je talent tako maho ejo confidence tako maho ahobwe mweyo njereyo nyenda kusima district leadership mwe no kunga yajumbira ha chintu cha eh cho mupira kuri ne ndi bashango ko kumuri kweterana hano mukazo mupira ne bintu bikwatine no kugira ngo turete ntungu ko mukacwe ka kitu Hosted by Dr. Srivia Arinitwe, the friendly marches served as a practical demonstration of the potential benefits such infrastructure could bring, fostering community spirit and providing a platform for athletes to showcase their skills. This story was compiled by Nobatin Yamhachi for Kigezi Television.